right, we're still on the throwing. Now we're going to use a different type of dog. Well, not different type. Still a border collie, but a border collie with a little more experience. He's been catching for about a year. He can catch in different zones. So we saw with Shine, it was very low all the time. He can catch that pretty easy. Good boy. He's not as fast as her either. Good job. The other thing with him is I can... Yeah. Every now and then, get them back to tugging. If your mouth's used to it, keep your mouth used to it if you can. Now I should be able to throw it high and you should be able to catch that too. And Shine wouldn't have caught that. He slowed down, you saw his back end curl up a bit. And then he went up and jumped and grabbed it. Good boy. Line them up straight, keep yourself... Come on. There you go. See that one? There's no way the previous dog Shine would have caught that. That hovered above his head for what seemed like two two seconds. She would have gone for it. He waited. And it's a little bit breezy right now too. You can see it in the tree. So it's ho hovering a little bit longer, and he's making the adjustment. That just comes with experience. Notice I'm always lining him up, just flat, using mostly wrist, not much elbow. And I'm not worried about distance right now. Distance will come. Probably throwing it about 40 feet and I'm not putting any effort into it at all. The other thing we can do is, if we have dogs that don't drive really well, in other words, they're not super fast running out to that frisbee, sometimes we teach them to come around us to build up speed and then throw it out. Yes. I don't do that with mine because they're quick enough. Boy. So if I needed to teach that, I might use food at first in one hand, then switch to food here and bring them all the way around. Just teach them to come around. I taught them to come between my legs, though. Yes. All right. See, he's actually slowing down and taking the jump to the higher disc. So just being aware of what your dog can catch at what time. When I first started with him, he was the same way. Everything had to be very low. And it's just a herding dog thing. They don't see up in the air. They're not meant to do that. So if you have the retrievers or the bird dogs, they're going to catch high stuff anyway. But if I was having trouble with my border collie catching, I might do the on the knee thing. Just the little throws at first. And throw them high so that they have to look up every now and then. Alright? Yeah. And then go back to tucking. Get it. 